and good morning fellas and ladies we have just fueled up here in uh, Mississauga Ontario now we're going to go over to our uh, place where we pick up our preloaded trailer yeah so let's go see how busy traffic we have up there in uh, turn right on Dixie Road. I don't know how much I'm going to be on 401, but close to 401, I suppose. Yeah. You're sticking your nose over a little bit. Oh, well. Let's see. Let's see how bad it is. Usually in the morning, it's pretty bad at traffic up here, but we'll see. We'll make it eventually, I guess. One kilometer. Take the entrance Anyways, to the it's pretty cold up here in Toronto. East, Toronto. Especially for Toronto, I usually think we get this cold. Collectors. It's supposed to go down to minus 22 Celsius overnight. That's pretty cold for Toronto. But the sun is shining nicely now, so let's hope it's going to warm up. Well, this is what I was telling you guys about. This is a rush hour in Toronto. Yeah. We got the collector here on this side, and there to the left we got the uh, 401. I don't know how much of it you're going to be able to see right now, but it doesn't look like it's very visible right now, but right now it should be a little bit better. See, that's a 401 express lane there to the left. It's all backed up too. We got four lanes here and four lanes in the express lane. They're all backed up. Yep, that's rush hour for you in Toronto in the morning. Well, in the evening it's usually no better, but... <laughs> right now it's in the morning, right? Yep. I'm trying to go off to this 427 up here. Gotta go a few kilometers down there and then I go pick up my load. Yeah. That's gonna be a while by the time we get there, but eventually we'll get there, right? I hope to anyways. We got even the airport there to the left too, but I don't think you'll be able to see that one, but every once in a while I see a plane take off, you know. No, you should be able to see it a little bit better. The 401 and the collector. Yeah. Just figured I'd show you guys a little bit of what Toronto's like. Yeah. You want to move to Toronto and live in traffic? Be my guest. Yeah. But, that's okay. I like actually coming here. I just, every once in a while I drive in this traffic, but most of the times I don't usually get much of this traffic because I come in, I try to come in here the times that it's not rush hour, but. And I could have left earlier if I really, really wanted to, but yeah, I'm not in any big rush, so yeah, I figured I'd sleep in a little bit today. Figured just give me something to show you guys what rush hour traffic in Toronto looks like. Yep, here we go. We are finally splitting off from the big highway here. We're going to go over to 407, so let's see how much we're going to be able to see. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see, but might be able to see a little bit there to the right, but not much, probably. But that's okay, at least we're out of that heavy traffic now, from the looks of it. And this down the road here, we're going to pick up a load, yeah! see how happy they are to see me have a look at that there's an airplane coming down right now look at that right in front of me there yeah looks like Canada Express yeah see that's what I was telling you guys there's an airport here take Dixon Road never airport. been able to film that before no I have 20 meters. I don't know how good it's gonna be visible on a camera but we'll see well guess what I get to my pickup location through all that traffic and everything. Get here. They say my load is cancelled. 
Yeah. So now we're gonna have to wait for further instructions from this patch. I always wonder why they fail to tell us about this stuff, you know? Because they get emailed that the load got cancelled. So I don't know why they wouldn't email me. But, oh well, we'll have to deal with it now and wait for an answer. Well, today is going to be one of those days. This is for you uh, guys that have never driven before. I got my load cancelled. Got instructed to go back to the terminal up here in Mississauga. I get back here. The dispatch up here tells me this load is screwed up too. <laughs> oh man, oh man, it's like running around and doing nothing really, you know. So what ended up happening with this load is uh, they said they forgot to put one skid on there. So he's got a day cab that uh, just picked up that trailer and ha is heading over to the customer and pick up an extra skid and get new paperwork. So. He said that might take till noon. So I'm gonna go. I'm. I just went over here to the Oski, and I'm gonna go inside and grab me breakfast. So figure I'll go do that. Meanwhile, right? So we'll be back in a bit. Here we go. We just picked up our uh, trailer from the terminal, and we are back on 401. Before we were going to the right there this morning, when I was recording that show. That was going on the collector, so now you can see a little bit better what it looks like. Yeah, look at this. This is what it looks like when there is not traffic. Still a lot of vehicles on the road, you know. But, uh, hey, we picked up our load and we are making our way to Edmonton now. Got a nice light load, 18,000 pounds, seven skids. Yeah. You should be doing good on fuel mileage now. Keep to the left on highway If only the weather wasn't so cold. When the weather is really cold, you do worse on fuel mileage, right? So I won't be doing great on fuel mileage, but uh, I think I shouldn't be doing too bad. But here we are, putting the hammer down towards Edmonton. Yeah.
we are calling it a day. Yeah, I made it as far as South St. Marie, Ontario, and I'm done. It's supposed to get pretty cold overnight, minus 26 Celsius. But hey, I put some fuel conditioner in there, so I have the AP in it, you know. So I feel pretty comfortable with shutting the truck off and yeah so my diesel shouldn't be freezing up but I wouldn't be one little bit surprised if there is guys up here that didn't spend money to uh, put conditioner in their tanks you know because they're probably not owner operators and they don't want to spend a dime but that's just the way it is sometimes and then the owner operator is ending up spending the money to get them going again you know but uh, anyways I always do that I always put conditioner in there and hey so we are done I guess all that's left to do is uh, go to bed so I guess with that we shall see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. thank you very much for watching I hope you have a blessed day and we will see you again <laughs>